Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 129, and we're going to pick up where we left off last time on the Drupal 7 panels modules, or panels module, and we're going to actually go over how to override the node view page for a specific content type on a Drupal 7 website. So we're using the panels module, as I said before. But before we get started, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to CodeKarate.com, sign up for the newsletter, and check out my new Code Karate supporter program, recently launched. Today's sponsor is OS Training. OSTraining.com provides great training for WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and just basic coding skills. So if you want to look at some of the Drupal videos that they have, you can come in here and preview the videos. They have 14 classes on Drupal. And they cover Drupal beginner and intermediate levels. They cover views. And they have a whole bunch of other Drupal-related classes. So go ahead and give them a look on OSTraining.com and check out some of their Drupal videos. Let's go ahead and get started. We left off last time with this basic panel page that we created. We created at a URL of slash panel dash page. We'll go ahead and jump into this just to review. As you remember, we drag we were able to drag different sections into or different yeah, different items into different regions. But what we really want to do this time is create a new layout for a specific content type. So I created a content type here called contact. And this contact content type has a whole bunch of fields like contact name, phone number, email, company name, company website, and notes. And I've just used basic text fields. You could, of course, download other Drupal modules to make the email field act more like an email field, phone number, more like a phone number field, etc. But this will work for our purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new contact. So I'm just typing in a basic contact for some contact information, and I will save this. You'll see this is how it turns out. It has the, the notes section above, phone number, email, company name, company website, and everything works all right. We have a contact comment form below. But what I really want is I want to break this into a couple different columns, and I just want to change this layout a little bit. So of course, if you just want to change the ordering or change the structuring a little bit, you can always come into your content type and manage display. And for instance, I can move the notes down to the bottom. And I can, of course, change the labels, do some basic things like that. However, that doesn't give you really the full control that you might be looking for. And this is where the panels module can come in handy. So as before, you'll want to watch the first episode to make sure you have all the required modules. But I come into Structure Pages, and there's a section here called Node View. Take a look. Also, you'll see there's a User View, which is for user pages. There's a Term View, which is for a taxonomy term page. And then there's Node View, which is for Node View pages or content type pages. So I'm going to go ahead and enable this. After I enable it, I come in here to Edit, and we're going to have to actually create a new variant. You can think of variants as different layouts that you want to create. Each variant can have a different selection rule. And most, in most cases with your content types, you'll probably have one layout for each content type. And if you don't want, if you don't actually have a variant selected, it's actually going to fall through and go back to the default Drupal display. So we'll show you how that works in a second. <coughs> I'll go ahead and I'll call this contact because it, we're going to use it just for the contact pages. It's a panel variant type. We do want selection rules, so I'll go ahead and create the variant. In this selection rules, this is basically the rules that need to pass in order for this layout to be displayed. 
there's a whole bunch of options here but most of the time you're going to simply go to node type and select the node type that you want to use this display so in this case I selected contact because I only want this to show up for contact pages so I go to continue I'm going to go to a two column simple layout I'll go ahead and use two column stacked again and I go to the next page and I can add or remove CSS body classes, add CSS body classes, give it a CSS ID and drop in some basic CSS code. As I mentioned before I would use the theme versus actually dropping in code here but it is an option. And now that we got that created we now can start adding items to our display. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the notes section to the bottom here. So I simply come into node and in this case the notes section is the body field so I'm going to click on node body. I can give it a label whether I want it to be a title field, I want the label to be above or I want the label to be inline. You can select a formatter and you select of course the node being viewed this override this title basically allows you to give it a different label if you want so I'm going to save this I know I just have the body field here I'm going to go ahead and create the variant and save it and we're going to take a look and see what that does I clicked update and save now that it's saved I'm going to close out and you'll see now everything else on my page is gone and I just have this note section I'm going to go ahead and hop over to an article content type that I have to show you that it's only doing this on the actual contact content type. The way this is working is this article content type is coming into this pages, coming into this node view section. It's going through these variants and if it doesn't find one that matches it's going to fall back to the default Drupal node view which is why it looks normal. If I added another variant up right up here in the corner. I could also add one for article, for page, for any other content type that I wanted to display a unique layout for. To get back into my layout for my contact content type, I simply click on content and now I can start adding the other fields that I want. So I'm going to add some of the other node fields like email, and then I'll also add phone number it's taking a second to load here okay phone number as well I'm going to go ahead and put this one so you can see the different labels. I'll put this label as above, then we'll be able to see what the different labels look like. I'll also add on the right side now. I don't know why it seems to be having issues. It's a little bit strange, but the right side I'll put company website and I'll put this label as inline. So now you can see I have two different columns of information with the email and phone number over here. I can of course drag these to different sections and the company website over here. So I'm going to update and save this and we're going to go ahead and take a look. We're going to need to come back to this page. I'll refresh and you can see the email is here. This is with the label as the panel title. The label above shows up here and inline shows up like this. As you can see it's inline. And then the notes section is, of course, below. To edit the panel, I can always just click here and select Edit Panel. And I'm back right to the section that I need to be on this variant. So I'm going to also add the company name field. And I'll make this one inline as well. Hidden, of course, just hides the label. And then I'm going to save this and now you can see the company name shows up there as well. So as you can see you can do a whole bunch of different stuff with this and it's not just limited to the fields that you created on this specific 
node, you can also add other items. You can add, for instance, other blocks that you might want. You, let's see what we got here for different blocks that we can add. You can add different widgets like the Powered by Drupal widget or recent content. You can use your login form if they are, are not logged in, a different search form. So I'm going to drop in the search form here just so we can see how that would work. So now the top has a search form and the other sections of course are what we set up before. I'm also going to add I'm also going to add the comment section. So I'll save this. Refresh that. You can see there's now a search form here, but I'm also going to drop in the comments section below. So we'll drop in the comment form here come up here to I believe it's node and we can do the comment form we can also add node comments as well I'll just drop in the comment form for now and then of course if you want to display the node comments you would of course add the node comment section to the panel as well so as you can see it's completely customizable to any type of layout you want and you can change the layout you can drag and drop and put fields wherever you want, you can change the labels, you can use other types of blocks, you could drop views in here if you wanted a view of this, for instance, something related to this contact. There's just a whole bunch you can do with panels. This is just the start. We'll have another episode on more things you can do with panels in the next episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Thanks again to OSTraining.com for sponsoring this episode, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.